What's up guys, it's Daniel here from Daniel Texan today. I'm gonna to go do do another transfer video and between the links about Mohamed Simikan, a 20 year old defender from Strasbourg. So let's get into the video. So about Mohamed Simikan, he's a 20 year old talented defender from Ligan. He plays for Strasbourg, he's been linked with AC Milan also. And that could involve Fakai Tomori as well. But Chelsea want to sign him as a fill in the boots defender to fill in for Thiago Silva when he leaves, if he leaves at the end of the season or if he leaves at the end of next season, because he can trigger the end of his contract because he has a he can extend it himself if he wants to stay or he will leave at the end of the season. So we need to try and sign Lampard wants to try and sign him to fill in for Thiago Silva if he leaves at the end of the season. But if we sign him now, we would have six defenders if Tomori does not go out on loan. As as Andres Christensen looks like he's having a knee injury, but it looks like he's back in training, which is good for him after that knee injury that he sustained against Aston Villa. I mean, this could be a good deal. We could get him on a £13.5 million deal, but we could sell him for profit, which would be really good if we get him for prof if we sell him for profit. According to Ellie 10 Sport, a bid around 13.5 would be enough to sign the young 20-year-old defender. But he's this could be a bit like a wrong deal, like we do with Papi Di Labodji, who signed for like four million from Nantes, and we didn't get good out of him. He didn't. I didn't I only play. I think he only played that like one game under Bruno in the 15-16 season. But it could be a master joke, just like Kurt Zuma. We signed him from Saint Etienne in in the. 13 14 season, then we sent him back on loan to St. Etienne to the end of the season. He, re he joined the club and uh, start the 14 15 season. He had a very good performances alongside John Terry and Gary Cahill in Mourinho 14 15 title winning side. And then in the 15 16 season, he was good. But then he got an injury in against Manchester United. I can't remember what it was. Then he didn't, he had to think he set out the rest of the season and then. He, he didn't really do well. Then he went out on loan to Stoke. He did all right there. Then he went out on loan again to Everton, which I think he did very well there, actually. It was good for him in, when he went out on loan to Everton. But could this be a deal? Could we send him back on loan till the end of the season and then we get him permanently in the summer and then he goes out on loan to try and get some more experience and then to sign and then hopefully do well next to Kurt Zuma because 36 year old Thiago Silva, he won't be here forever. Rudiger, it looks like he could be leaving, and I think he could leave in this summer or even next summer. I think he could leave the club. And then Christensen, he hasn't fulfilled his full potential yet. He's still only 24, but he's still weak for the Premier League, in my opinion. He can do very better in any other leagues, as shown when he went out alone to Bruce Munch and Gladbach a few years ago. He had a few very good performances there. But under Andre Antonio Conte, I think Andreas Christensen was one of our best defenders. He did a long, over the top through balls, just a bit like what David Luiz used to do and what Antonio Rudiger is doing now. But Christensen now, what Lampard's telling him to do, I don't think that suits him. But what Lampard's telling Rudiger to do, I think that would suit Christensen better. So, about Fakayo Tomori going to AC Milan, AC Milan have entered the race to sign out of favour Chelsea defender Fakayo Tomori. Fakayo Tomori is the fifth choice defender at Stamford Bridge behind Antonio Rudiger and Andres Christensen, who both had awful seasons last year. And Tomori is probably our best performing defender last year alongside Kurt Zuma. Could this be a permanent deal? If this is a permanent deal, this is silly because he could still fulfill his full potential. He's only just turned 23 in December. Um, he could still do well, in my opinion, but if we go and tell him on a permanent basis and he, com he comes back to, to be one of the best defenders in the world, we could have to re-sign him for 50 million, which would be just silly if the Simicand deal just does not work out, which would be a bit silly. According to Fabrizio Romano, AC Milan are in talks with Chelsea to sign him alone until the end of the season. Lampard did bring him up to the first team after his year at Derby, and Fikari Tomori had amazing performances. He got given um, player of the season, when I think Derby just got into the playoffs and they got 5th or 6th in the table and they did lose in the playoff final unfortunately against Aston Villa. I mean they didn't do well there but yeah, nothing less about speaking about that. Um, I think this would be a good decision to go out and loan because you have people like um, Slatan Ibrahimovic influencing him. You have a lot of experience because they're in a title challenge right now. But if this is a bit like the Ethan Ampadu deal at RB Leipzig this could be a bit silly because he didn't really do... He didn't play a lot of games at Leipzig. And then he, I think he played like two or three. One was against Spurs and he performed really well and he shut out Kane and Son. Yeah, this could be something like that, but I'm hoping it's not. If it, if he can start, this would be a good deal for him, in my opinion. 
So guys, thanks for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Make sure comment about what your thoughts of Bakayo Tomori going out alone to AC Milan, and also comment your thoughts about um, Mohamed Simakan joining in from Strasbourg for £13.5 million. So comment your opinions down below. So guys, thanks for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Share your friends. Bye.